Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. The Nikon Nikona series of underwater cameras are sturdy and reliable. The seals, however, need to be maintained to keep the camera watertight. Also, it is a good idea to perform simple service maintenance checks. Check the door latch button and button lock to make certain that the door latches snugly and completely. Then pop open the film door and inspect the film door gasket. This gasket, as in all the gaskets in this camera, should be clean, smooth, and free of debris. The gaskets need to be removed from the camera before cleaning. One method for safely removing all the end-user serviceable gaskets will be demonstrated later in this video. For now, we will remove the upper access panel to inspect the camera for the slightest of moisture damage. Four crosspoint screws hold the access plate in place. With the plate removed, inspect the mechanism as thoroughly as possible. This camera looks great, as clean as when it was manufactured. Sometimes the counters will stick on these cameras and fail to return. Check to make sure the counter engagement lever and the counter wheel move freely. Also, make sure that the foam that's tucked in the corners is not degraded. After the access plate has been reinstalled, operate the shutter and inspect its functionality. Look for signs of any residual water damage. This shutter passed with flying colors. Now, test the lens operation of the focus knob and the aperture control knob. They should run smoothly without any hesitation or grabbing. Isopropyl alcohol on a cleaning swab or cleaning towelette can be used to clean the seals and O-rings. Do not try to clean the O-ring seals with them remaining in the camera. They need to be removed first. To do this, take a plastic pry tool and gently slide underneath the O-ring, stretching it a little bit to lift. You need to be very careful that you don't put a nick into the O-ring. Then inspect the O-ring for already existing nicks and any sand or debris that might be stuck to the O-ring. Use a cleaning towelette saturated with isopropyl alcohol to clean the seals and O-rings. Once the seal or O-ring is completely and thoroughly clean, work a dab of O-ring grease into its surface. Thoroughly rub the appropriate grease into the O-ring before reinstalling. Also clean the area where the O-ring will seat against. Again, isopropyl alcohol works well for all cleaning in this manner. Don't forget the battery door O-ring. A tool can be made to pop the battery door off or you can just use a coin. A rounded off screwdriver works very well as it takes a little extra torque because of the O-ring. Again, pop the O-ring out with the tool, also being very careful not to nick the O-ring. The bent corner of a discarded credit card can also be used to wedge underneath the O-ring and lift it free. Properly maintain the seals and O-rings of an underwater camera will keep it dry and operating for many years. Thank you for watching.